They start to fly. They can't even walk, they're flying. You can't give a title to people in church. They forget the one. They forget the one who deserves all the glory. Because all of a sudden, they got a title. You got pastor, deacon, minister, apostle. You got all these titles. And you don't got any, and you don't got no one worshiping God. They stop worshiping God. We got too many people. I can, let me go. I'm going to go to deacon, to the minister, to the pastor, to the associate pastor, to the teacher, to the this, to the that. We got to go through all of this nonsense. But when, we're, when we reach heavens, when we reach the heavenlies, there is none of that stuff. None of that is going to happen. When Jesus comes, he's not coming for the pastors. He's coming for the body. Jesus. He's coming for the body of Christ. He's coming for that little one right there. It's not just the pastors. So we need to come against the spirit of Nebuchadnezzar that's in the church. And we need to command the spirit of Nebuchadnezzar to lead the church today. I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at home in my palace contented and prosperous. I had a dream that made me afraid. As I was lying in my bed, the images and visions that passed through my mind terrified me. So I commanded that all the wise men of Babylon be brought before me to interpret the dream for me. When, these, when the magicians, enchanters, astrologers, and diviners came, I told them the dream, but they could not interpret it for me. Finally, Daniel came into my presence and I told him the dream. He is called Betelshazzar after the name of my God and the spirit of the holy gods is in him. I said, Betelshazzar, chief of the magicians, I know that the spirit of the holy gods is in you and no mystery is too difficult for you. Here is my dream interpreted for me. These are the visions I saw while lying in bed. I looked and there before me stood a tree in the middle of the land. Its height was enormous. The tree grew large and strong and its top touched the sky. It was visible to the ends of the earth. Its leaves were beautiful, its fruit abundant, and on it was food for all. Under it, the wild animals found shelter, and the birds lived, lived in its branches. From it, every creature was fed. In the visions I saw while lying in bed, I looked, and there before me was a holy one, a messenger coming down from heaven. He called in a loud voice, and I'm going to repeat this very boldly, say this very boldly. Cut down the tree and trim off its branches. Strip off its leaves and scatter its fruit. Let's try that again. Cut down the tree and trim off its branches. Strip off its leaves and scatter its fruit. Let the animals flee from under it and the birds from its branches. But let the stump and its roots bound with iron and bronze remain in the ground in the grass of the field. Let him be drenched with the dew of heaven and let him live with the animals among the plants of the earth. Let his mind be changed from that of a man and let him be given the mind of an animal till seven times pass by for him. The decision is announced by messengers. The holy ones declare the verdict so that the living may know that the Most High is sovereign over all kingdoms on earth and gives them to anyone he wishes and sets over them the lowliest of people. This is the dream I, King Nebuchadnezzar, had. And now Betelshazzar, tell me what it means, for none of the wise men in my kingdom can interpret it for me. But you can, because the spirit of the Holy God is in you. And Daniel is going to interpret the dream for him. Listen to this. Then Daniel, also called Betelshazzar, was greatly perplexed for a time, and his thoughts terrified him. So the king said, Betelshazzar, do not let the dream or its meaning alarm you. Betelshazzar answered, my lord, if only the dream applied to your enemies and its meaning to your adversaries. The tree you saw, which grew large and strong, with its top touching the sky, visible to the whole earth, with beautiful leaves and abundant fruit, providing for all, giving shelter to the wild animals, and having nesting